Uh, hello everyone. So uh, I'll be now showing you an example problem for LUP decomposition. So here is the problem that we have. So here uh, our object main objective for this problem is that we are going to find the uh, solutions to the set of linear uh, to this set of linear equations. So we'll be performing a set of steps uh, that I'll, I'll walk through you. I'll walk you through. So the uh, first step is that we need to find the A and B matrices. So this uh, it's uh, finding the A and B matrices are pretty simple. So the A matrix is just the coefficients of uh, those elements on the left hand side. So we have 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, minus 3, 1, minus 2, minus 5 and so on. So and the B matrix is just the elements on the right hand side. Okay, so now we have the A and B matrices. And in the second step, what we do is we just, uh, we now we just try to find the pivot element. So in order to, uh, the pivot element is basically the element which is on the, we can imagine as, we can imagine it as the element on the top left side of the matrix. So it needs to be over here. So our matrices, this is our matrix. So the pivot element is the element over here. However, however, the pivot element needs to be the largest element in its column. So three is the largest element in this column. So what we do is we swap the first and second row. We swap the first and second row and we get uh, the A matrix changes from this to this. While doing this, we need to remember that we need to consider another matrix called the permutation matrix. We, uh, it's called the per permutation matrix. So the permutation matrix uh, 1, 2, 3. So, so it actually is going to look like uh, 1, 2, 3 is going to look like an identity matrix. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So the 1, 2, 3, this indicates the position of the 1 in the particular row. Okay, so this is the permutation matrix. Uh, while changing the a, while swapping the rows of the A matrix, we need to remember to change the rows uh, of the permutation matrix as well. Okay, so we have uh, initially we had one, two, three, and now after swapping rows one and two, we have two, one, three. Okay, so now the step three is that we perform certain uh, modifications, uh, keeping in mind in uh, certain rules. So initially we had this matrix. And after performing some modifications, the uh, we can see that the lower part, this part has changed. So what is that? Uh, what is the modification that has caused this change? So uh, let let's take this step by step. So initially we had three one one. So we had three one one. The first step that we do is we divide all the elements below the pivot by three. So we three one one becomes three one by three one by three. So this is the first step. Then the secondly, what happens is that uh, this element gets converted to this. So for this, what we do is, how do we arrive at this? So we take the old element, which is one subtracted by, what do we do? We take the product, which is after modification, uh, after dividing, uh, we want this element, right? We want this element. So what we do is after uh, dividing the uh, dividing the old element by three, we get this. So we take the product of this and this. So basically, we want to uh, what we want this position. We want what should be in this position. So we are going to find the product of this and this. So one by three into one. So one minus one by three, we have two by three. 2 by 3. So, so we've got this value. Similarly, I'll show you another value. How do we get? I'll just erase this. Okay, so now, now we want what is the uh, new value for this position. So what we do is we take the old value minus this value and uh, my pro minus the product of this value and this value. So one by three into minus three. So we have one plus one this equals two. So we got this value as well. Similarly, we can do the modification and we'll get uh, the uh, the modified uh, the new modified a matrix, right? So uh, this this is the first step, and now there is another step. Now we we, uh, we performed all these modifications, keeping in keeping the pivot as three. Now we have to uh, find. Uh, let's say 
uh, i want uh, we can imagine that we performed all these modifications keeping in mind the matrix is this now we can uh, imaginatively think that the matrix has shrunk and the matrix is only this now so now all the modifications that we'll be performing is uh, is going to be only in, inside this matrix and uh, we're going to keep all these as it is so uh, we need to find the new pivot right now so the new pivot uh, uh, so uh, pivot actually uh, uh, always is on the top left corner so this is the new shrunk matrix it is imagined we are imagining this by the way so this is the new shrunk matrix and uh, so the pivot uh, needs to be the largest element in its column so 2 by 3 and uh, minus 7 by 3 uh, so 2 by 3 should be uh, larger right however in this case we actually take the absolute value so even though minus 7 by 3 is lesser than 2 by 3 we take 7 by 3 needs to be the large uh, we take uh, some minus 7 by 3 as the pivot because we take only the absolute value. So we swap the second and third rows. The second and third rows are swapped and we take minus 7 by 3 as the pivot. Alright. Now taking minus, uh, minus 7 by 3 uh, as the pivot, we perform the same uh, operations that we did in the previous case. We take the, uh, so we need to find the modified value of this. So we take the previous value to minus 2 by 3 into minus 4. So uh, after performing all the operations as uh, specified before, we get the modified a, a matrix. So after this, we need not uh, again shrink the matrix because after uh, shrinking this matrix to this, we don't have uh, nothing uh, much to do. So that's it. Our, uh, we uh, are uh, iterative, uh, iteratively modifying uh, the a matrix is done. So we can, we've now got the uh, uh, modified a matrix so from this we can move on to the next step which is to find the l l and u matrix lower and the upper matrix so to find uh, uh, the l uh, l and u for the uh, for us to find the l matrix we just uh, modify all the diagonal elements we take it as one and we take all the uh, elements lower uh, lower to it as as it is so all the diagonal elements we keep it as one and all the uh, elements below it is uh, kept as it is and for the upper triangle matrix all the elements up, uh, including the diagonal and above the diagonal we keep it as it is and uh, all the other elements below the diagonal we take it as zero so the, we've got the uh, l and u matrices so after uh, we move on to the next step which is uh, so for the next step we need to keep in mind certain equations l y is equal to pb and uh, ux is equal to y so we have l matrix and uh, we know that y, uh, we have y matrix as well and the permutation matrix after all the modification is 2, 3, 1. So 2, 3, 1. So uh, if we uh, draw out uh, the permutation matrix 2, 3, 1, so it's going to look like this because it's uh, 2 indicates the 1 is going to be in the second column uh, and here the third column and the first column 2, 3, 1. Right. So this is the permutation matrix and we have the B matrix as well. So uh, here we can uh, perform uh, now we have to just find out the values of y1, y2, y3. Uh, for it, we can just uh, multiply uh, 1 into y1 uh, and we can equate it to 5. So we get y1 as 5. And similarly, one, uh, we perform operations such as 1 by 3, y1 plus y2 is equal to 10. So, and so on. After finding, then we get y1 and we substitute in the second equation. Uh, we substitute the value of y1 in the second equation and we get y2, then substitute the value of y2 in the third equation. And similarly, we get y3 as well. So using all these steps, we can get y1, y2, y3 value and finally we get the y matrix. So now we've got the, we've gotten the y matrix and now we have to use the second formula which is ux is equal to y. Now this is the final step then because uh, now uh, this is the, this is our main objective, right? We are going to find x1, x2 and x3. So we already have gotten the y matrix uh, from the previous operations and uh, we have the upper, uh, we have the matrix u as well. So uh, we can perform similar kind of uh, 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 operations to find the value of x, uh, x3, x1, x2. So multiplying 6 by 7 with x3, uh, we have 36 by 12, uh, 36 by 21, sorry. We get the value of x3 to be 2. And uh, secondly, we can uh, we can uh, do minus 7 by 3 into x2 minus 4x3, uh, minus which is equal to 25 by th 3. Substituting the value of uh, x3 from the previous uh, result, we get x2 is equal to minus 7. Similarly, multiplying all these by this, 
we get uh, and substituting values of x3 and x2 we get x1 to be minus uh, x1 to be 6 right so we've gotten all the values of uh, and we found we've basically found the values of the uh, matrix x so we have x1 x2 x3 which is our objective for this uh, problem so we have found the solution using lup decomposition and i hope you uh, have uh, made this concept clear using this uh, example problem thank you